Hello everyone, it's Mesmi, and I know it's been a while since I made a video in English. Today we are going to talk about 2017 trends in Korea. So let's start our video. The first trend is something that is a little bit weird to me and I still don't understand, and that is makeup for your hair. What? Yes. I think originally these products were made for people who suffer from hair loss and it helps them cover up that gap. But now here in Korea, it's very common. I guess apparently those gaps are seen as ugly or not attractive. So I don't think I would ever buy it, but let me tell you a funny story. When I was at the makeup shop, I had no idea what it was and I thought it was contour powder. So I started like putting it on my face and I noticed it was like super dark. And then the, the helpers ran up to me and they were like, no, 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 that's for your hair. And that's when I realized, what? Are you serious? Makeup for your hair? And they showed me how to properly use it and I thought it was pretty interesting. But that was a pretty embarrassing story. So when you go to the makeup shop in Korea, just know that there is powder for your hair and it's not contour. The next trend that I have been noticing is a very interesting cut on your bangs. And that is a very short bang style. This style became super popular after this popular drama, which I'm going to show pictures here of the drama. And I've been noticing a lot of girls with this haircut. What I've seen is that this cut makes you look very young and gives you a very innocent look. So I think that's why it's popular. Personally, it's not my style. But if you want to go get that cut, I suggest you go to a stylist because you don't want to try that yourself. It could end up into a really big mess. Now the next trend is sort of related to what I was just talking about and that is if you don't want to go get your bangs cut all the time because I know that your hair grows super fast, you can get these clip-on extensions. These are becoming super popular and people don't even notice that these are fake because they come in a variety of colors. So you can spend less than $15 for one of these and you can just change your style every couple weeks, every couple months. I know it costs a couple dollars to go get your bangs cut, but if you get these, you don't have to worry about that ever again, and you can just change your style by buying a different style. For the second or third year in a row, the tennis skirts are coming back this spring and this summer. These tennis skirts give a very young and beautiful look, and they have become popular because of various K-pop groups such as Girlfriend, April, and Oh My Girl. I've seen various music shows where a lot of the K-pop groups are wearing this style and I've seen so many girls all over Korea wearing these skirts. These skirts drive men insane because it's also very sexy because the skirts tend to be a little bit short. The next trend that I've been noticing this year is decorations for your bags. A lot of the bags already come with a little decoration with frills or a little pom-pom. And you could also use these decorations for keychains. And as you see, it's very common to find bags with these little frills. I'm not sure why these became popular, but they come in a variety of colors. And what I've seen is that most of the bags carry this little frill decoration. So if you know why they're popular, please let me know in the comments below. Here in Korea, it's very common to find a store dedicated to just selling these products. And that is cute phone cases. These phone cases obviously come in a variety of styles and they have characters such as Align characters, Hello Kitty, and pretty much anything else. You can even have your own photo on your phone case and you can get that at your local phone store. I think if you get a plan with them or if you become a regular customer, you will be able to get phone cases with a picture on them. So you can get a phone case with a picture on a simple phone case like this or you can get it wallet style like this, like mine. And inside you can put cards and money. Really awesome service that these stores give you because it's free. The last thing I want to talk about is that we finally have more options for our lipstick. Before it usually was just everybody uses tints, but whenever I would use a tint it looked like I ate like a sucker and I didn't wash my mouth and I just don't like that gradient look on me. And I'm super happy that Etude House has a new line of lipsticks that are matte and that actually help your lips look a little bit bigger. So as you see, I'm wearing one right now and this is the most popular color. This line is so popular that a lot of the times, this color here 
runs out. So I was lucky to get one of these and it was about 9,001 but I really love this line and as you see the color doesn't come off so when it's time to take off your makeup and you use a makeup remover it will come off easily um, unlike the tints where you have to buy a specific oil to get rid of them because when I just use a regular wipe the tint doesn't come off like a little bit gets stuck here so I'm very happy that there's now more matte color and I'm really happy about the look it gives. That is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short video about the couple of trends that I've seen here in Korea this year. Watch out for a lookbook in the spring in a couple of weeks. I'm just waiting for the weather to be warmer. It's still kind of cold. I think it's in the 30s right now, Fahrenheit. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you eagerly await the lookbook in the future. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you all later. Bye!